We have uh, heard the last developments regarding the DACA program. Uh, all those uh, men and women who were brought into the country when they were children by their parents. And that uh, yesterday, with the decision of the Supreme Court, um, allowing them to continue and with the hope that there will be uh, possibilities for permanent residency and citizenship. These are young adults, for the most part, men and women who had been on the shadows and in spite of that, they have emerged in leadership in our country, meaning uh, getting good education and getting ready, and some of them they already do it, uh, participating in different services for the well-being of our society in the United States. It has been a painful road because we all understand uh, how easily it is to affect children's lives uh, when there is a trauma and there are actions that uh, doesn't correspond to the dignity of the human person. But we are blessed that yesterday was a very important step. And I'm sure that all our brothers and sisters in the DACA program are content for this new step. We want to affirm our support for you. We believe that the way you have done it has been peacefully and, uh, and according to the traditions of our nation. And uh, now with this support of the Supreme Court, may you move forward. We believe that uh, your dreams are part of the dreams of the United States of America. We believe that you can be of a great help to bring about the values that are sustaining our Constitution. And we urged uh, President Donald Trump to keep DACA intact. And may Congress continue working and allowing new ways in how these 700,000 people can be of a great hope for our nation. As I have said it before, uh, you have shed many tears over the years, but the tears of today and these days are tears of joy, and we are with you. God bless you.